Hey guys, Brother Justin here from Charity Baptist Church. Today I want to make a video talking about one of the most important things that changed my Christian life, and that is Bible memorization. So I started memorizing the Bible、um, in August 2017, so it's a little more than a year ago. And、uh, up to today, I've memorized、um, about 70 chapters、um, of the Bible. But before I talk about how I memorize the Bible, I just want to let you know the command to memorize the Bible. The Bible says in Joshua chapter one verse eight, "This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success." So notice the phrase, "But thou shalt." Shout, meditate. So to me, that phrase sounds like a command to me, right? For example, the Bible says, "Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal." So in this verse, the Bible says, "Thou shalt meditate." So to me, a Bible memorization is a command of God. Now, number two, I want to talk about the promise to memorize the Bible. Notice in the same verse, the Bible talks about if. You meditate upon the word of God, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So here we find a condition: if thou shalt meditate, and then thou shalt have good success. The same promise was found in Psalm chapter one. The Bible says, "Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper." Again, the same. Condition: If you meditate upon the word of God day and night, and then thou shalt be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, and then thou shalt prosper in whatsoever thou doest. Now, not only we've seen the command to memorize the Bible and the promise to memorize the Bible, I want you to realize the importance to memorize the Bible. The Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse three. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So. We are fighting warfare every single day. Now we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but we do wrestle against principalities, the spiritual darkness. Right now, it is important to keep ourselves busy every single day. That's why, as a man, you know the Bible commands us to labor, to work. Right, and also women should also be hard workers. But we should also keep our mind busy. Because here's a saying: an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Okay, so not only we should keep our body busy working to serve God, to serve people, to provide for our family, but we should also keep our mind busy. That's what the Bible says in verse number five: casting down imaginations. Right? Because we want to keep a pure thought life. Especially we are living in a wicked world right now. When you go out, you see people、uh, dressing immodestly. You see、uh, women in、uh, mini skirt. When Me in tight clothing, you want to cast down imaginations. You want to have your mind be filled with the word of God, so that you you will not enter into sin. So you will not allow your mind to think perverse thoughts. So we talk about the command to memorize the Bible, the promise to memorize the Bible, and the importance of memorizing the Bible. Now let's talk about how to memorize the Bible. So to me, it is better to、uh, memorize chapters、uh, in the Bible rather than individual verses because you will be able to see a bigger picture and connecting the dots which you've never realized before. The Bible says we should compare spiritual things、uh, with spiritual. So if you memorize the whole book of the Bible, if you memorize books of the Bible, when you are reading other books of the Bible, your mind is constantly cross-referencing with these verses you've memorized in your mind. 
learning. You will be able to discover the things which you've never realized before. And Bible memorization, it will revolutionize your soul winning, your preaching, and walk with God. And there are really no special tricks to memorize the scripture. All you need is a love for the Word of God. So how exactly do I memorize the Bible? Number one, you want to pick a book and chapter that you would like to memorize. It might be easier to start uh, with some short chapters. You know, maybe some chapters in the book of Psalm. Psalm 1, 2, and 3 are great chapters to start with. And once you are comfortable with your routine, you can move on to uh, longer chapters. So uh, to me, the first books I've memorized uh, in the Bible is the book of Romans. So I pick the book and I decide I want to memorize the whole book. So number two, you want to study the chapter that you would like to memorize. Maybe uh, make sure you know the basics such as the definition of the words, pronoun references, and so on. You don't have to uh, know everything about what that chapter is about because we will learn something new every single time when we are reading the Bible. So just make sure you know the basics like the definitions, like the references. Uh, for example, uh, in Romans chapter 1 verse 29, the Bible is describing those uh, sodomites are being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whispers. Now some of you may not know what the word maliciousness means. If you look that up, it means viciousness, right? In the same way, what does the word malignity mean? The word malignity simply means evil. So just make sure before you memorize um, that chapter, you actually study the chapter out. You want to know what the chapter is talking about. You want to look up the, the definition of the words that you don't know. Number three, you want to set up a goal in the number of verses you want to memorize every single day. Just to give you a statistics. If you just memorize six verses every single day, you will be able to memorize the whole New Testament in less than four years. And that's pretty impressive, right? Now, six verses a day are not that much, okay? I memorized more than six verses a day um, for a long time. Now, just think about this. If someone go to a Bible college for four years and they get a, a degree in a Bible study, you know, in nursing, in something like that, and, and there's another person who spent four years memorizing the Bible, and in four years, he, he's got the whole New Testament memorized, okay? Now, who do you think is more prepared to preach the Word of God? The person that has the Bible college degree or the person who has the whole New Testament memorized? So you want to set up a goal every single day. Maybe you decide you want to memorize three verses every single day. You want to memorize five verses every single day. Just set up a goal and stick to that. Maybe find someone to memorize with you because you could help keep each other accountable and encourage one another. You know, if you have brothers and sisters, you know, maybe encourage them to memorize it with you. You know, if you are homeschooling your children, if you are homeschooling your kids, you know, maybe memorize with them to teach them about the Bible. So number four, you want to uh, have the chapter with you um, wherever you go. The Bible says in uh, Proverbs chapter seven verse three. Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thy heart. So we should be able to have the Bible at the tip of our finger, right? Now, with the modern day technology, we can have the Bible app on our phone. So what I like to do is to print the whole chapter on the paper and I fold it up. So uh, it looks like this, you know, for example, I'm memorizing Hebrews chapter four right now. You have all the chapters here and you flip back, you have uh, more verses uh, here. So I like to keep it with me everywhere I go to make sure I have the access to the word of God whenever I need it, you know, whenever I want to memorize it. Or you can write down your verse on a note card, on a flash card, you know, but uh, I don't want to do that because it takes a lot of time to uh, to write the whole chapters down on this note card. But but I think it will definitely help you to uh, be familiar with the chapter. So number five, when you are memorizing uh, the chapter, you want to take one phrase at a time. And the good thing of to have your chapter with you, you know, uh, in a paper like this is uh, you can use that 
whenever you are driving, you are walking, you are stuck in a line, or you are taking a lunch break, just take one little phrase at a time, you know, and repeat in your head about you know twenty times, thirty times, and until you mem you've memorized that one phrase. For example, if I'm memorizing a Romans chapter one, verse number one, Paul. A servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, I would take the phrase "Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ," and repeat in my head, you know, about twenty times. And after I've memorized that one phrase, then I would move on to the next phrase, "called to be an apostle," and do the same thing. So at this rate, you could literally memorize one verse in less than five minutes. Now, sometimes I can memorize one verse in about two minutes because if you break each verse down into phrases, it's so easy to memorize. And once you have、uh, all the phrases of that one verse memorized, try connecting these、uh, phrases. Together, okay, and it will be also helpful if you can break the chapter down into different sections. For example,、uh, maybe verse one through five talks about、uh, Paul's greeting, and verse eight through fifteen talks about Paul wanted to go to Rome, and and so on and so forth. So.、Uh, After you've memorized you know, verse one through five, you know because they are in the same section about about the greetings of Paul. After you memorize verse one through five, you can you can try quote these five verses together and do the same thing with the rest of the sections. So just give you an overview. Okay, you want to divide each verse into different phrases, and then you put every single phrase together and quote that one verse. And you also want to. Divide the chapter into different sections, so you can pull these verses together and quote in the same section. And once you have every single section and verse memorized, you can quote the whole chapter、uh, together. Now it takes almost no mental effort to quote little phrases. In addition, it could be accomplished、uh, while performing other daily tasks. You know, I I always tell others that memorizing the Bible takes almost no time. Out of my daily schedule, because when I'm、uh, cooking, when I'm doing chores, when I'm driving, all I have to do is to look at just one little phrase and repeat that in my head. You know, so so the method I'm using is called secret、uh, repetition method. Okay, you can do that while multitasking. You can do that while you are driving, while you are waiting on line, while you are、uh, just simply walking, while you have nothing to do. You want to keep your mind busy. Okay, the only time you really need to focus、um, is at the end of the. Day,、uh, you want to have your Bible in front of you and、uh, try putting all the sections and verses together. And because you have already quoted、uh, these phrases over and over again throughout the day, putting them together is very easy. So to me,、uh, every day I、um, I'm driving to school for like 15 minutes. I can just、uh, have my、uh, verses, you know, on the on the steering wheel while I'm driving. I'm having、uh, like one phrase、uh, in my head, and I'm repeating it over and over again. So when I got to school, I have already had about four verses memorized. Okay. Then after parking my car, I I have to walk to my classes, and that's another 10 minutes. And I can get about、uh, two to three verses memorized. So, so to me, I memorize about six verses every single day, and I used to memorize like twelve verses every single day. And、uh, now, now I'm slowing myself down because my life is getting busier every single day. You know, now personally, I memorize at least one chapter every single week. And I take、uh, the weekend off, so、uh, so it's about five days for one chapter.、Um, you know, on a weekly basis. Now I used to memorize、uh, about two chapters every week, but then、uh, because I memorize so many chapters, you know, I want to retain these chapters.、Um, that's why I'm slowing myself down to、uh, to only one chapter per week. So we've talked about how I memorize the Bible, how I memorize the chapter. Now the last part I want to talk about is memory retention,、uh, because the whole purpose to memorize the Bible is not just to memorize that. You want to retain that, right? You want to hide the Word of God in your heart so you can meditate upon it day and night, right? And the Bible says in、uh, Proverbs chapter four, verse three. 
For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. So not only we have to memorize the Bible, we have to learn how to retain the Bible. Now once you have a chapter memorized, you want to quote it every single day for one week. Then every single week for one month. Then every single month. For the rest of your life, okay, because in doing so, you will be able to move that chapter from your short-term memory to a long-term memory. Because it's not possible to quote the chapter every single day.、Um, just say if we have 50 chapters memorized, it's impossible to quote them every single day. So you want to、uh, move these chapters to a long-term memory. So quote every single chapter for every day for a week, and then every week for one month, and then every month. For the rest of your life. Now, the app that I like to use is called Scripture Typer. So the app I like to use is called the Scripture Typer, right in the middle. So let me open the app, and then if you go to the home interface, you can see the My Verse, the Bible, the progress, and the setting. If you go to My Verses, you can create different folders to put the, the books of the Bible and the chapters together. And these are all the chapters or the books that I've、uh, memorized. For example, in First、uh, Thessalonians, you can click on that. You can have all the chapters grouped in one folder, so it's really convenient. And then, if you go to a chapter, you can、uh, you can edit the verse to、uh, determine how often you want to quote that verse. You know whether you want to quote it daily and weekly and monthly, biweekly. You know it's all up to you. And if you go to the review section, it can tell you you know when you should quote every single、uh, chapter. For example,、uh, it tells me I have to quote Galatians chapter five in 19 hours. And I, and I will be quoting Romans chapter one in eleven days. So、uh, this is a great app to、uh, keep tracking on your progress in、uh, Bible memorization. And then you can also go to the ranking, you know, to have some fun competing with other people、um, based on、uh, how many verses you've memorized, you know, how many points you've earned. So、uh, I'm 194. Out of you know however many people that is, and because I memorized a thousand four hundred and forty nine verses, so、uh, this is a great app, and the best feature is it will keep track on your progress, you know, in telling you、um, when and how often you should quote that verse. You know, it will give you a reminder、um, every single time that you need to quote a verse. So、uh, strongly, I recommend this app. You know,、uh, it's called Scripture Typer. So, let's draw a conclusion to、uh, this video. So, using this method、um, about you no know, secret repetition method, it's like spending the whole day reading the Bible, except it takes almost no time out of your daily schedule. In the end, you will truly be able to write the Word of God upon the table of thy heart. Now, let me just tell you this: memorizing the Bible,、um, it really helps me. Uh, in my Christian life, it revolutionized my way of preaching, my way of going soul winning, my way of dealing with other people, and it helps me to live a clean, a separated life. You know, it, it cleanses my mind, it filters my mind through all this wickedness、um, in this world. It helps my thought life. It helps my、uh, my heart to stay pure, to、uh, stay closer to God. So、uh, I would strongly recommend you try out、uh, memorize the Bible. I believe the Bible is clear that thou shalt meditate. It is a command of God, and if you are disobeying the command of God, you know you have sinned, right? So、uh, if you have any question about、uh, Bible memorization, feel free、uh, to ask me in the comment section below. God bless you. Have an awesome day.